What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video today. Today is officially the last day, well it should be unless anything goes wrong, the last day that I will be using this camera. Um, this camera goes back a long time for me. I think the first time I used this camera was basically like in my Battle Juice review. Um, so I just want to also let you guys know that I'm using a new camera right now. Um, so this is a new 4K Sony camera. So it has been a long, long time of me using this camera. And I just want to say right before we continue with this video, quality does not mean success or views or at all. I just want to say that. The amount of people that I see, and this aggravates me so much. I mean, if you have the money and you want to do it, fine. The amount of people that I see that have a more expensive camera than me or a $10,000 camera equipment or whatever, and they have like 500 subscribers and they post once a month, I don't know. I just, I see so many people that spend all of their money on camera equipment. At the end of the day, quality does not always mean success. I just want you guys to know that. Do not worry so much about quality, okay? I don't think it is that important. I think it's good to have quality videos, but you don't need 4K, 8K videos, okay? and the best of the best to do well. I just want you guys to know that. And with that being said, my quality is great. I actually don't really need to change this quality right here. Let, let's just say, so why am I upgrading my camera equipment? So right now, this quality is great. What you guys are seeing, I absolutely love. But the issue that I have with my camera is the Sony a6400, that's the camera that I have right now, that's the camera that I'm using. The issue that I have with it and why I'm upgrading is if I take that camera off of that stand and I wanna go and shoot a car video, if I wanna walk around with the camera, maybe do a vlog style video, something like that, I literally cannot because this camera has no in-body stabilization, it is awful and if I try to add like a warp stabilizer and Premiere Pro to stabilize it it's terrible even I mean and if I want to put it on my gimbal it just takes so long to stabilize it on the gimbal and it's just a complete mess so I wanted to get a camera that had everything I was looking for so what I was looking for was at least 4k 60 I was also looking for Sony. I really like how Sony's products are. And I was looking for something with amazing in-body stabilization. And that is where this camera right here in this box came into play. The camera that I decided to go with is the Sony A7S Mark III. I've been, I was literally so excited when the launch of it happened. I think it's been like a year. I've been wanting to buy this camera for over a year now. I think it's been since it has come out. I'm pretty sure it's been that long. But yeah, guys, I've just been wanting to get this camera for a very, very long time. Um, but it was out of stock after it came out. It's been out of stock. It's been in stock. And I'm like, I don't really need it. I don't really need it, you know. And then I was just like, fine, I'm going to buy it. I want this camera. This is the ultimate camera for what I'm doing and what I need. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and unbox my new camera for the channel. Now, also, I am going to be selling my Sony a6400 with my Sigma uh, 16 millimeter, I think it's 16 millimeter, 1.4 aperture lens. If you guys are interested, hit me up on Twitter if you want this camera that you're seeing right now. Th this footage that you're seeing, I am selling that camera right now. So if any of you guys want it, hit me up on Twitter. No, I am not selling it for $100. I will be selling it for actually what it's worth. So, okay. All right, let's unbox this baby, guys. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. Oh my God, I've been waiting because I wanted to record this on camera. Wow, look at this, guys. The Sony A7S Mark III, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, man, this is amazing, boy. Take a look at this. Okay, so 
Uh, this is the lens. I'll take a look at that in a minute, but let's take a look at the camera. Here is the camera, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely amazing. So what do we got? Some of the features here. 4K 120. Oh, you have no... I'm excited just to use 4K 60. I've never gotten to use that before, ever. So I am beyond, beyond excited to use this thing. I am so, so freaking excited, ladies and gentlemen. So that is another thing. The focus should be a little bit... The autofocus should be a little bit faster on this one because if you take a look, boom. See, it took a while to focus on that. I'm hoping the new one should be a little bit quicker. Not like it really matters that much, but it should be a little bit quicker. It has the steady shot, so the in-body stabilization. I'm really excited about that. Now, this is a full frame camera as well, so I'm very, very excited about that too. Now, before we actually go ahead and unbox the camera, let's see what's in this box. This should be my new lens as well because I was looking for and I was trying to ask a whole bunch of people, what should my all around lens be? And this is what a lot of people said. So let's take a look at it. Wow. All right, so I've got some, this was also kind of like a set. So I've got some, uh, I've got some filters that it came with, which is awesome. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it came with the uh, lens. All right, this is the lens that I decided to pick up. It's a 16 to 35 2.8 lens. Now, I wanted to get a lens with in a steady shot, like a lens, because you can have the in-body stabilization on the camera, but you can also double up with stabilization in the lens. I was told by a whole bunch of people, get this lens, it doesn't matter, the stabilization in the camera itself is way good enough. So I decided uh, just to use the in-body stabilization on the camera, um, and we uh, just got a lens without stabilization. So this is the lens that we went with. Right now you're seeing me through a 16 millimeter lens. So this one goes from 16 millimeter to 35 millimeter so it'll go from basically this zoomed out to zoomed in so you can actually change that so i'm really really excited about that all right guys so now that we know what the lens is let's go ahead and open up this camera and then we'll open up the lens here we go oh my gosh dude this oh man okay so okay we've got our manuals here and stuff like that all right, so we've got our manuals, accessory guide, you know, all that good old info in here. So I'm gonna put all of that to the side. And then we've got, here we go. So what do we've got here? We've got some sort of a mount. And then it looks like we've got, I believe that is a USB-C to USB 3.0, I'm pretty sure. And then if we actually take this back here, let's see, all right, what do we got? Ooh, look at that. We've got a camera strap, very nice. And then we have on this side, it looks like we've got the battery charger. And then on the bottom there, we've got, all right, so we've got the cord to charge the battery with the battery charger. So here's what the battery charger looks like. If you guys wanna take a peek, all right. So here is what the battery charger looks like. You've got the cord and then you've got the battery charger itself. That's a beefy one for sure. And then we've got, and then we have the camera itself down here, guys. Oh boy. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay, and then over here we've got the battery. Okay, I think that should be everything in there. Okay. So we've got the, ooh, wow, that is a beefy boy. That is a beefy battery uh, versus the one for my Sony a6400. Wow, yeah, that is a really beefy battery. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a look at the Sony a7S Mark III. Here we go. Oh, oh baby. Damn, look at this. Wow, okay, holy crap. Um, honestly, okay, so it's definitely a little bit bigger than my 
uh, A6400 that I'm using. But what I must say right off the bat is something, a camera that's that much better, I thought that it would be or have to be so much bigger, but this thing looks amazing, guys. Uh, most of the buttons kind of look like they're in the same area up here. As you guys can see, you've got your on off, your mode selectors, all that good stuff. And then here's some more of the buttons. And then another thing that I'm happy about this screen. So the camera that I have right now, the A6400, this basically doesn't actually go out like it, like this. The one that I have, my A6400, it flops up here like that. This one actually goes to the side so you can see the full thing and you can, oh yeah, you can turn it all around. Oh my God, that is epic, dude. That is so awesome, guys. That screen is so epic. Um, wow, this thing looks amazing. I'm so excited to use it. Oh my God, guys. Holy. Gonna be a lot of me watching videos and trying to learn all the settings and everything to do with this. I am absolutely so excited, guys. Wow. Whew. Okay. Wow. And I, I'm not used to this at all, guys. It looks like... Okay. So I am not used to this at all. Uh, it looks like there is two SD card slots. I am somebody who is used to only one in my camera right now. So insane to see that. Okay, so that's gonna be something that I am going to have to, uh, wow, so that is epic. Okay, so something that I noticed with this one, it has a full HDMI port. So my Sony a6400 is, I believe it's like a mini or micro HDMI to bit to the regular HDMI that goes to my monitor because I have a big monitor above the camera so I can see what you guys are seeing. But on, on my a6400, this is just a mini or small HDMI port. This one on this camera is a full HDMI port. I'm happy about this because I felt like the small HDMI port on my A6400, I feel like it's constantly bending and it's about to break. So I'm super glad to see a full HDMI port on uh, the uh, A7S Mark III here. And then you've got your USB 3... Oh, so then you've got your port uh, for your microphone, you've got your USB-C, and then I think you have another, like a small HDMI there. I don't know why they would have that, but yeah, they've got another one. Wow, so then it has, I'm pretty sure this is a constant power port. I did not know it had that, but yeah, there's like a constant power port here. That's cool. I think that's what that's for. Plug-in power, yeah. Wow. <laughs> this baby is so epic. Um, I think something that I'm actually going to have to buy for this, guys, is going to be a... Uh, a rig. I need a. I have a metal rig that goes around my A6400. I'm gonna need one for this. For some reason, I thought that one would fit this, but I do not think it will. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna need a metal rig for this, so I can have room to mount my monitor, my uh, microphone, and stuff like that. So definitely gonna have to pick up a rig for this. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and unbox this lens and get it put on the camera. So here we go. Let's unbox this baby. We've got some warranty information here. We've got a lens cleaning wipe. We have a case for the lens. Oh, and it's in the lens. Okay, it's in the case, I mean. All right. And then they also give you some more manuals, of course, and stuff like that. Okay, so. We've got the lens in the case here. So that's cool. Ooh. Oh, nice. This one's big. Wow, yeah, they give you one of these bad boys. That's a big one for sure. And then here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Wow, look at that lens, guys. Wow, Sony. Take a look at that autofocus manual focus there. Wow, this is a big boy for sure. God damn. So 
right here. I've never had a lens like this. I've always had just a locked lens at like 16 millimeters or something. Uh, so I've never had a lens that I could do this. So I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So you can go all the way, basically, if you guys can see this, you can go from like 16 millimeters all the way to 35. So you can go from 16 millimeters to 35. So you can go from zoomed out to zoomed in to 35. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this lens on guys. Here we go. Okay, boom. Oh my God. Damn, this baby's beefy. Holy crap. Yeah, with that lens, this is a beefy freaking boy. Holy crap, guys. Wow, this is a beefy boy for sure. God damn. God damn, baby. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slap in the battery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it looks like the battery is dead, so I'm gonna have to charge it and then fiddle with it a little bit later, but I just wanted to say thank you so much, guys, for, you know, making this possible, me being able to pick up, uh, you know, a camera like this. I don't know why I, I don't know, I've just, I just haven't pulled the trigger on it, but I just felt like now was the time. I might as well do it. You know, I've just been thinking, you know, just do it. Just do it, boy, okay? Just do it. So, I'm so excited for this, guys. I'm so excited. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't really big camera people. I'm not the biggest camera guy, but I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to pr improve, uh, constantly improve my G Fuel reviews and include more content on the channel. So, I am so excited, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you guys for watching this, uh, this quick overview unboxing of my new camera. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys know a lot about, a cam about cameras? Are you excited about this one? What are you guys thinking? Is this, is, is this a camera that you guys want? Let me know down below. Also, I am selling the A6400, so if any of you guys are interested, hit me up on Twitter. I will link my Twitter down below. But I want to thank all you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being here. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.